I don't like to speculate. <laughs> I'm a fact-based guy. I think they were looking for stuff about January 6th. That's what I think this is all about. Because if you look at what happened to Hillary Clinton, no doubt Hillary Clinton removed classified documents from her office in Washington as Secretary of State. She did it, 2,000 of them. And the only reason the FBI didn't lodge charges was they said, well, she didn't do it on purpose. I know Trump, he doesn't sit in a room with documents, okay? But that's either here nor there. I think, based upon what I know and what I'm seeing, that this raid, they were hoping to get some kind of text or some kind of piece of paper or some kind of printout. Trump talking about January 6th. Does that make any sense to you? Well, in a movie or a novel, maybe so. But in the real world, you don't go in with the hopes of then trying to find some criminal activity. You have to allege that the crime already has occurred. No, I know that. I know that. But you know and I know fishing expeditions exist. I know know that. Yes, sir. But I know the temperature of the FBI with respect to the January 6th proceedings personally. And I know they have had a hands-off position, letting Congress do this show. And the FBI really has taken a back seat. The other thing is, and Bill, just so your viewers fully understand the real world, a search warrant that it was executed two days ago must contain information that the Supreme Court of the United States has defined as ripe, meaning fresh, something that may have occurred within the last 30 to 45 days. The fact that he may have been in possession of materials that go back since he left office a year and a half ago would not be sufficient to escalate it to being able to sign off on a warrant. But he hasn't been there since May. Well, but someone had to have been able to corroborate with particularity, actual facts. This is the real world. No, I understand. Someone someone on the inside had to say, yesterday, I saw X, Y, and Z, and I am, and I believe he's going to either destroy it or hide it or transfer it or do something. Okay. It can't be something that someone saw a year ago. But that that is so far-fetched because the man is in New Jersey and has been since early May. Then that Which brings- then shows that he would not have been in a position to destroy right. any document. Right. Okay. And that brings us to the next thing, that if you have a what you call fresh information, all right, you give the man under suspicion, Donald Trump, the ability to explain it, right? 100%. I agree with you. Because if you don't, it looks like we're a fascist country. Kick the door in. Find anything. 